thought I'd have a little fun and throw something out on one of the social media platforms over on Twitter and say, hey, look, you know, who wants to ask a goofy scientist some questions? Because I like answering questions sometimes. And, you know, not many people get a chance to really ask nice questions. And we're going to avoid the metaphysical ones for a second. And we're going to talk about the actual one of the actual questions. And this one comes from uh, the 82 ghost, who, which, who is at Tilted Crown 2 over on Twitter. Uh, and the question is this, water freezes, uh, then it expands. Uh, if you fill the hypothetical indestructible container uh, to the top with water, sealed it, and then put it at freezing temperatures uh, without room to expand, would it become solid? That's actually an interesting and, and a little more complicated question than it sounds like. Uh, so let's let's just go ahead and take a look at that. Uh, yeah, so water freezes at around zero degrees centigrade. Uh, it contract uh, it contracts until it gets smaller until around four degrees centigrade, and then it expands by about nine percent. So it's a legit question, right? If something is in that container, and something expands, how's it gonna how's that gonna work? Well, this whole thing is driven by this thing called the ideal gas law. It's uh, pressure times volume equals n moles of a gas present. How much of that material gas? So it, it doesn't matter. Um, times R, which is just a constant that equals the value shown there. Don't worry about the constant times temperature. So what you really see is if pressure if pressure goes up, if volume stays the same, you only have a couple things you can mess around with. So if you're going to mess around with with uh, uh, temperature and you don't have any more volume, the only thing left to mess with is pressure. So let's let's look at this a little more carefully. So when you get into these kinds of questions, you have these things called um, uh, phase change uh, equations you have to go work through. And in a, a simple material, you get the graph on the left. On a, uh, in water, you get the glass on the, uh, the, the chart on the right. And what you'll see is at different temperatures and pressure combinations, you either have a gas, a liquid, or a solid. And you'll notice also you could have liquid and solid at roughly the same spot, right? But as you go up in that pressure, you can actually get a solid at a different temperature, right? So it, it's going to change a little bit, but that doesn't really kind of answer the entire question, right? The question is what happens if you can't really have that contraction? So excuse my simple art here for a second. What you'll find is that if that blues part is uh, the, uh, the actual container, the indestructible container, and you start to drop it below zero degrees centigrade, you're going to get ice blocks. But if you're at zero degrees centigrade, some of it until you reach the right pressures is going to stay water. So you'll have water that's well below the, the, the typical freezing point, uh, but it uh, it hasn't turned solid yet. Well, here's this other thing right here. Uh, you have these other phases of ice. You have different types of ice. So you're used to one. There's actually a couple of them. Uh, and what that really means is instead of ice 1H, which has a crystal lattice structure like you see uh, on the right of that, which is nice and orderly and sort of what we're used to seeing that comes out of our freezer. Uh, you'll have different types of ice, which are ice three, ice five, ice two, depending on where you're at on that pressure scale. So as pressure goes up and becomes insane because you, you can't really expand anymore, what you'll get is more dense ice. So the part of that crystal lattice, those, those molecules will be much closer together. So what you'll wind up with is something that is still ice, uh, it is still water ice, but it's different types of water ice. Some is the type you get out of your freezer. Some is more dense than that. Some is even more dense than that. It just kind of will vary depending on where you're at inside that container. Um, I do want to add that indestructible containers are absolutely not possible. So it's, it is more of a theoretical question. Yes, it can be done. Uh, it's incredibly expensive to do. Uh, I did a couple of quick uh, literature searches. People have achieved all those different phases of water. Uh, but great question. Uh, and you got to remember, sometimes there's there's more than one answer. And ice is not just one thing. Ice can be a whole bunch of different things, right? So you can have very dense ice. You can have very not dense ice. Uh, it just depends on what what pressure and and uh, temperature combinations you've gotten to. So great question, uh, and uh, not not that simple of an answer. You do have to get really deep into those lattice uh, structures to really understand that. And not a lot of people ever take that course. It's called solid state physics and. Uh, chemistry takes it and so do some other folks, but material scientists, but it's not really something that's sort of general knowledge. So a great question. And there's about 900 more that still keep coming in. I will answer as many of them, probably one a day. I don't think I'm going to go through more of that. Uh, and please excuse my, my goofy art. I, I busted out my kids art supplies to go ahead and, and draw the funny pictures. So, uh, tomorrow I think I'm going to try to tackle one of the relativity questions. Those were pretty cool, but I'm going to do one of these a day. So I'll, I'll try to tag the person back who asked the question, but excellent question. Uh, and follow along for more. I'll make a playlist out of this stuff. Everybody have a great day.